Hello and welcome to This Week in Property. I'm your host Richard Swan and in today's show we have the big light back on, the Property Pros Spotlight. This is where we bring people into the glare of the spotlight and we see what they're doing, what are they up to, what are they thinking, how's their experiences going, what areas of property are they involved in, what do they think about the market, what's the plans for the future, every single thing that they're doing so that you, the viewer, the listener, can understand what different people are doing in different locations. And in today's show, in the spotlight, is this beautiful lady here, the lovely Colette Odoro. Colette, welcome to the show. Thank you. Colette with one L. Yeah. I'm allowed to say that. Now, here's here's the thing. I need to put this out on the table because there's a lot of guests that I don't know when I start chatting to them and interview them. But any time I do have a guest on that row, I want to be up front and tell them. So we know each other already. We know each other through Paul McFadden's Property Project Programme. And I've seen some of the projects and stuff that you're doing, so that that's on the table. And I wanted to get you on because you're quite famous. You're <laughs> quite famous in the, the tribe, Paul's community, as we call it, because you're always sharing what you're doing. You're always helping ask, uh, answer other people's questions. You're always showing pictures and videos, some of the kind of, uh, you know, the transformations of properties that are done. She's we need to get her on. She's amazing, and you're some character as well. But see, before we go there, what was Colette's life before property. What's the background story? You know, where, where were you kind of born? Where were you brought up? What kind of things did you do coming out of school, etc.? What was life pre-property for you? Pre-property? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, she's going <laughs> back. I can't she's done off her flags. Thanks, of thanks for Canada, but here you go. <laughs> so technically, I was born in Glasgow, so a family, um, my mum, my dad, my brother, my sister. Right. So I grew up in the south side of Glasgow, so I've not actually moved kind of too far at all. Yeah. So I went to school, I was actually quite a sporty person, so I played badminton. Yeah. Um, so I was really good at badminton, I did canoeing as well. I was very, very sporty and also a good runner as well. So I've always been kind of um, motivated to do like kind of things to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone. Right. Um, but I kind of was in school. I took to badminton better because I really enjoyed that. And my badminton teacher, to this day, I still love him, Mr. McCluskey. He was <laughs> absolutely amazing. He gave up his time in the morning, lunchtime, evening time, let to get us really good. And we were in a good school for badminton, so it means we were one of the best in Glasgow. Wow. So that was good. Moving on from then, I had loads of different jobs. I worked in hospitality, I worked in construction, I worked in retail. <laughs> uh, oh my God. Just so many jobs. <laughs> I went to the job centre. No. Um, I have worked there as well, but then I kind of settled in employability for years, helping clients that were on benefits, unemployed for years, clients with mental health problems, wow. clients coming out of prison, um, loads and loads of different stuff, Richard. And so, what, be some experiences. Oh, it, was, it was hard going, yeah. but it was good when you took a client on <clears> and <throat> you worked with them. So, what yeah. I used to do is I kind of had the kind of three steps approach, do three good things a day. So, oh, uh -huh. so I can yeah. introduce that. So it was really yeah. good. So it could be simple as get up in the morning and having a shower. Right. That was it. The second thing could be even getting a walk or whatever, because these were clients were far removed from the labour market. Right. So they were kind of, clients went through loads of kind of shit in their life, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was good to work with clients, but see when you've seen them work with them, what a difference it came on. Change, so that was my buzz, do you wow. know what I mean? But everywhere I worked, I always felt as if the companies weren't doing right by the clients. I used to be a nurse as well years and years oh, ago. And I had, went. Way what back are you in the You got these jobs, so unbelievable. <laughs> way back in the day. <laughs> and I realised nursing wasn't for me. Right. I mean, it was too restricted. Um, and I did about three night shifts and nearly killed me. So I went, oh, this is not for me. Get rid of this. Do you know what I mean? It's a hard, hard job. job. I take that off. I take my hat off to nurses oh, because yeah. they do a brilliant, brilliant job. I'm not dissing it at all yeah. whatsoever, yeah. but it just wasn't for me. Yeah. Then when I'm in the company's employability, I used to see what was wrong with the company. Mm -hmm. And I used to see people in the job that shouldn't have been in the job uh, too long. Really? Uh-huh. So I've seen that quite a lot. So uh -huh. that, what I used to think was, see, after a while, if they don't like it, why not just leave? Yeah. They used to moan about the job. One about this, one about clients, and I'm like, oh my God, it's your life, do what you want to do, do you know what I mean? One life. I, so I've never had the fear of packing jobs in, right. never, and I just black ta ta, I'm off, whatever. <laughs> and the thing about that, Richard, is why I think I've got that, because I've got confidence in myself. 
Yes. So I know that I can always make money, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So if you stay in the one job, I think it is because you don't believe in yourself, do you know what I mean? Right. But see if you can take that chance to pack a job in, leave it. I know a lot of people are trying to do it now. Yeah. They get the taste of uh, the property. Yeah, I And they're just thinking, aye, they're, right. yeah. they're doing a full-time job. She yeah. said they'd have to do it, and I yeah. took my hat off to anyone uh -huh. that's doing property full-time mm -hmm. and also working full-time. It's amazing, aren't it's, they, God? It's yeah. amazing. So, no, I've had loads and loads of various jobs, some brilliant jobs, some shitty jobs, mm -hmm. some jobs I've done really, really well. Um, but one job that I really liked was working links, or if we were working links, and they were brilliant. Right. They were um, forward thinking. They used to just let you run with what you were doing, the black clay of getting ideas. We used to sit around the uh, table. See. And I had all these different ideas, and they went, clay, if it works, brilliant. If it doesn't, that's fine. It's just an experiment. But they were amazing, Richard, honestly, yeah. God. So I loved the way that they actually um, worked. Uh -huh. So I brought in loads of things for clients. Like um, we give a voucher out to the client for good for interviews. They get their hair washed, they get makeup. If it's the guys, they get a kind of wee kind of goodie bag with right. deodorant and things like that in it. I also put in massages for the clients. I did loads and loads of kind of forward thinking stuff and work at links, loved it. Mm. And I was really, really good at bringing in business. I'm not blowing mm. one trumpet, but I'm good oh, at what I do, good. I mean. This is good. So when I worked for Work at Links, they were actually going to fly me up and down to London to show people how to engage in the community. Wow. So I used to do all the street work. Oh, I see. And I was bringing in all the clients. I worked for lawn parents as well, and my phone <laughs> was red hot. I was always on the phone, honest to God. So I had two phones, my personal phone, and the company phone, yeah. and I had all the loan parents coming to me right, left, and centre. Wow. But see the difference. I mean, I had one client in particular. Um, obviously, I can't say her name because I probably no. forgot it anyway. So, <laughs> ah, what? But I remember. So it was a client not too far from where I stayed. Right. And she was lovely, but same thing. Didn't believe in herself. Ah. Um, obviously, it's a bit of a poorer area, and we were doing this thing with Marks and Spencers that you can get clients in there, get work experience. Oh, uh, right. So it was like an eight week course. Uh -huh. So I got the client in, but first of all, she was kicking up a stink. I do, I do that, Clay. Marks and Spencers is too snobby. Oh, I'll not no. fit in there, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, you will. To this day, she's still there. She's still there. She's still wow, there. That's I, amazing. Uh -huh. So I was in Bray Heads not so long ago, and she's like, I, I was just getting my best news. And she's like, hello, Colette. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, how you doing? How you doing? Wow. And I'm like, no way. She would collect, you know, I had employee of the month so many times, all the rest of it. <laughs> and I've got all these clients that the jobs I got them, this is going back 10 years ago, yeah. Richard, I mean, a long time ago. And the have came on leaps and bounds. It's so it's a good thing. So I must say, um, over the years, I must have helped thousands of people. You really are. Back on their feet again, do yeah. you And I will see that, see I, that variation that you have there. You're now, you're now filling in the gaps for me uh -huh. that knows you recently. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That now will make sense uh -huh. because that background's involved, being involved in so many different things, being involved in helping so many people, being always on hand to answer something, help someone, have the phone ready, that kind of stuff, being resourceful, uh -huh. being creative, going for one thing to the next thing to the next thing, coming up with ideas and stuff, uh -huh. uh, going for stuff, being confident in yourself, all those things you've now explained the women that I know, uh -huh. the collect with one L the handle. Uh -huh. It's amazing. That and old bag, right? Because that, that's, that's you. Uh -huh. That is you. That's what I see. That's amazing. I know. So when did that name change from all that variety to property? Well, what happened there? What happened then is the big C happened, didn't it? Oh, the big COVID. The big COVID, yeah. So at that point, I was still working in employability. Right. Um, and it was a mad time, do you know what I mean, for everyone. Oh, it was crazy. All over the world, Stuff do you mean? Uh, I know. It feels a bit sometimes, I, sometimes I'm like, did that actually happen? Yeah. So the thing was, I was still working employability and we're working from home. And I kept on asking the company, why are we still working from home? Right. In this line of business. So right. I kept on pushing it and pushing it because I knew something wasn't sitting right, do you know what yeah. I mean? So we used to have all these meetings and I hate Zoom meetings, to honest to God. I absolutely <laughs> hate them. So... I kept on putting the pressure on and the manager wouldn't answer, give me an answer back. Right. So this was starting to kind of annoy everyone else as well because they went, Claire, when you get an answer, I says, well, you start asking the question because she's avoiding my question at all odds, do you know what I mean? So next thing, one of the guys in the team who's hilarious, he asked a question and next thing we got the answer. So when, have you no answer, Claire? Claire's been asking this question for weeks and weeks and weeks. Right. So what happened was the company was going down the tubes but they weren't making us work from home. 
Because what happens is that um, when you got what was that called again? But the the grand the furlough, the furlough, furlough. yeah, the furlough pit. So you could only get furlough money, Richard, if the company never had any financial difficulties. Mm. But the company I was working for did have financial difficulties, but they weren't declaring it. Dear, dear. So we weren't essential workers. So this is why we shouldn't have still been working from home. We should have been furloughed at that point right. because they were having difficulties. So next thing. It was put on the table, we were going to get our notice, but you know something? Everyone starts to pure panic and I'm like, yes, this is my get out of jail <laughs> party. This is what I'm waiting for. <laughs> I went, there is a going, there is a going. So I was absolutely delighted. And so right. there was a few other people as well, do you know what I mean, in my team, because we worked over in like the York area, so it was quite York, drum channel, yeah. quite difficult areas. Yep. So a few of us who were good at our job were like, you dancer, do you know what I mean? So that was good. So next thing, I think it was 12 weeks notice we got. Right. So we got all that sorted. We got some money, do you know I mean? Not a lot of money, but then I looked Paul up again and I went, okay, I'm just going to go for this. Because mm -hmm. what I said earlier on, I was kind of following Paul for about seven or eight years. Right, so you mean, so I, this is Paul McFadden. I said, uh -huh. start. I uh -huh. explain how I know you. Right, gotcha. So, Do you want me to explain why you So I was watching right. him, um, <laughs> and I liked what he did, but all, what I liked as well, Richard, is he was from Glasgow. Do you know what I mean? Right, I connection. I, so it was a good Glasgow connection, yeah. and also I liked the way he put himself across. Right. So I went to see Paul, I think it was seven, I'm not very good for years, I think it was seven years ago. Paul would probably know, or eight years ago. Right. So I went to see him then, and it was really, really good, and that gave him the taste again. Right. But the usual story... And had you thought about property? I, I had, was I had, pro I, ha I was right. always interested in property, do you know what I mean? And right. I had a couple of bioletes in the past as well. Right, so you've seen that I, it could work. I, I saw seen, some I of the, work, the strategies. It could work. Right. But I was getting kind of bored with the bioletes, because they're a bit boring, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I <laughs> just get one. Do Smoking it. like an ice cream next to invest. It's about boring getting that money out. It's, it's a bit boring. <laughs> so I went to something else, and when I got paid off from the company I was working for, right. that was it. Right. So I decided then to go for it. Right. So I checked calls up again, booked on the course, mm -hmm. and said that that's it, wow. and I've not looked back since. You certainly haven't. It's been incredible. That's amazing. Do you remember the 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 first bite of lights that you you did get involved in? Did they come from you know the the story of an accidental landlord when you were a student? Or no, no, I kind of decided to buy that one the side during one job. How did how did all that begin way back? This is a story and oh, a half. It's, 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 it's actually a laugh. It's, it's a true story. So I was a uh, <laughs> go to the shops one night, isn't right. it? This is a right true story. You can do right this Don't one. Good year, yeah. <laughs> so I was going to the shops one night. So I was actually staying the south side. So we don't want to give away my location, but I was staying the south side and I bumped into a friend I knew from years ago. Right. So he ends up, he's like, Clay, what are you up to? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm just going to the shops to get ginger. Right. That's what I said. They went, Clay, I need to sell my house. And I'm like, all right. So I just said off the cuff, I'll buy it. Honest to God, Richard, go to the show. So that's right. not to do the diligence. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy it. <laughs> you know that? This is a true story, mate. So I just He's like, like, you sure, you sure, you sure. But I was actually kind of, it's a bit of kidology, do you know what I mean? Wasn't really thinking about it. So I ended up, I came back to the house anyway, and my boyfriend is like to me, Clip, what's took you so long? I says, I bumped into blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I am what? And I went, I said to him, I'm going to buy his flat. And he's like, what? Well, you've done so, what? I went, he went, no, he went to the shop to get ginger. It's a price to get back. <laughs> now, that's a story. You know, I went huh? for a loaf. I huh? get back with something else. Oh, well, I can buy with a flat. Richard, you couldn't oh, write it. Goodness. So, but two days pass. This is hilarious. Next thing I get the chap in the door, right? So I had a main door flat. Next thing I get the chap in the door. And he, the guy was there. He went, Clets, it's still happening. Oh, and so God, then the panic set in, pure panic. So I'm like, ay, ay, ay. So see the matter what, Richard, see if I say something, and my mum and I want my one right? So I'm like, right, come in, blah, blah, blah. Let's we'll get this sorted, let's do it. And I went away, got the financial advice, checked it all out, and I was good to go. Oh, and next thing, but the good thing about that was as well, this guy had a lot of time for him. Right. He was really, really good. And he could have got more money. Someone came to him a few days after me because he'd give me his word. Right. And I'd give 
mine to him, yeah. he stuck by it because it was a great property. Do you know what I mean? It was a main door flat as well. Right. Um, so, and I knew the area like the back of my hand. So I knew it was a gorge. Do you know what I mean? But this, so is that, right uh, this is going to rent out. This is going to rent out, no bother. Yeah. So, did the deal. He was in kind of financial difficulties. He was happy as Larry. I was happy as Larry. Yeah. And that's how it all came about. Go to the shop for oh, a ginger. That is amazing. What a story for your first property. Oh, see, this is why I love these interviews. The stories that come out are unbelievable. And you know what? There's a couple of things in there with that wee one story there already. Because, number one, you mentioned the financial difficulties thing. And and I know this. I know this from, you know, reading tabloid newspapers and everything else. Some people think that a lot of property professionals, uh -huh. a lot of property investors, the they're, they're shortchanging people. They're scamming people. And I know that because oh, uh -huh. you know, let's hold our hands up. Of course there is. You know, there's there's kind of dodgy folks in all areas of life. Uh, you know, or it must be that they're kind of you preying on the vulnerable, all this kind of stuff. And again, I know that goes on, but that must be the tiniest percentage ever. Uh -huh. Because people, professionals in property, can help so many people in so many ways. And you say to yourself, that guy uh -huh. was delighted. Uh -huh. That guy got what he needed, what he wanted. Because he actually, we worked with someone who was trustworthy. Uh -huh. He worked uh -huh. with someone who was a woman of a word. Uh -huh. He worked with someone who knew his position and knew how he could work out a way to help him. Uh -huh. And he could move on. And I see that so many times. I see so many people getting helped with whatever it is. Maybe it, maybe it is a financial difficulty thing or maybe it's a, oh, I've got a brand new job down in London. And I, and I need to sell my place like that. I need to help really quick. It could be they're, they're immigrating to Australia. It could be so many different reasons, you know. And I love when I see the kind of the proper side of property. People like you, honest, trustworthy, women of their want, and they actually help someone. Uh -huh. I love that, too. But another one that stuck out for me was how you mentioned another higher offer came in. Uh -huh. Did they matter? Because uh -huh. it wasn't about the money. Uh -huh. Once you act properly once you give off the right energy once you knew women of your word like i said i would do it and i'm doing it uh -huh. let's work out how to do it uh -huh. and that speaks volumes that means more than just money than just numbers written in a bit of paper and that guy knew that uh -huh. he said no no i'm, I'm doing this with Colette. Uh -huh. forget that i'm doing this with Colette. i love that uh -huh. and that happens a lot no, do, do you can i agree with that no, it's 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 the way that you act the way that you behave mm -hmm. is is a big part of you no, yeah. de definitely. At the end of the day, um, I'll call a spade a spade. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I sure will. I will. I will. I definitely. And I think that's what people like about me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't polish things up or make yeah. it all arty, farty, whatever. I say what I say and yeah. I do what I do, and that's it. Do you know what I mean? I don't. Um, also, want to dress things up. Yeah. And my clients have always loved me for that as well. Yeah. Do you know I mean even back in the day when I worked for the job centre and I worked for working links and I worked for momentum? Do you know what I mean? They all loved it. I mean, I used to say to clients, do you want to work in the black and all collecting and that way, that's fine. And so we'll do all the kind of soft skills with you. Right. So I knew from the start, cause there's no point in then pushing clients into work yeah. when they weren't able to do it, whether their mental health or other things, do you know what I mean? Or yeah. even for financial things that wouldn't work either, then lose this and lose that, all the rest of it. Of course, so, the bigger picture. Uh, you've got to take in the, the, the whole picture, as you say, yeah. Richard. And I used to always think, it's not about me, it's about the client, do you know what I mean? Oh, and that's the way it's got to be. It's not about the companies either yeah. for ticking that box and signing something off so they can pull down money from the government. Yes. That didn't sit right with me, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I know it goes on, and I know there's loads of good companies out there that does um, really good work. Yeah. And I know there's really good people on the ground, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Doing brilliant work as well with clients that are facing financial difficulties, yeah. mental health, or whatever the case may be. In the south side, that's where I worked. I covered the whole of the south side, south side which was the south east and the south west. So it's right. broken down to two different areas. Right. So I was the queen of this. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean you were? Uh, I, was, you I, know, you are? I was. I was. I just did employability. <laughs> and I had a, fr a friend, um, Sandra, who covered the whole of the east end. Ah, are you okay? No one could beat us. Do you know what I mean? No, no, we were the power team. <laughs> so she used to come over and help me sometimes in the south side. Right. And I used to go over and help her sometimes in the uh, the, the east end. Fantastic. Um, so we pulled together, but we were a team, honest to God, unbelievable. I mean, yeah. To our figures, we blew everyone out of the water. Yeah. And see, we think, talk about things like an entrepreneur, but there's things as well, an entrepreneur, do you yes, know what I mean? Yes. And I'm definitely that as well. I can go into a company 
and see what they're actually doing wrong in the first few days. No. I've got that vision and yeah. I'm like, oh my God, how's this one in that position? How's this one in this position? <laughs> do you know what I mean? This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> and I've always, I've always had that, do you know what I mean? I've always had it, so I'm quite glad, do you know what I mean, that I've got it now. I mean, that's amazing. I'm still thinking with the story with it, buying a house from going to the shop. So yeah, I just can't. cranks me up. It cranks me up. So now take me forward in time, right? So you explained about Paul McFadden and so on. You went his training, that kind of things. What did we then start to do? What, what, what were the projects after that point? What kind of things were you getting into? Right. Because I see so much with you. Uh -huh. It's amazing. So I did Paul McFadden's course training to the few since that. Oh, well, they loved it. Yeah. So, Protégé is great. I love yeah, it. Do you know what I mean? It's like my second family. Yeah. Um, obviously, my mum and dad's dead now. Do you know what I mean? And also, my partner died as well. So, right. technically, Protégé's my family now. Yeah, so, I, nice. I, so, I've met loads of great friends yeah. through Protégé. And all my friends outside what I do now for property full-time. Uh -huh. They're either involved in property or they're doggy people. That's <laughs> that. Oh, 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 the dog's hunting the dog had to make a beer. That's that. I'm surprised you still here. I know, I said that, I said that. So it's good. So what happened then was, obviously I learned what I learned in um, yeah. Prodigy. So the real deal, you get what you get taught. I mean, as you say, you do what you're doing, that, 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 that. Mm -hmm. So started looking for a project, didn't want to travel too far, do you know what I mean? So I wanted to keep it in the south side, because that's what I know, like the back of my hands, and I, I love it, I love it. And it's good when you know somewhere, do you know what I mean? And yeah. as Paul says in yourself, Richard, your gold mine area, I know that place, yeah. and I know every back street in that place as well, because of Dexter, I'm up yeah. and down all the lanes, and all the houses, I, that's right. so I go to places in the south side that no one would go to, do you know what I mean? <laughs> a doggy person would go, yeah. and you know where the nearest poo bins are, or whatever, <laughs> so I know the houses, and I like it. Southwest, I used to work in it, right. but I don't know it as good as the southeast, do you right. know what I mean? Right. So I kind of stick to the southeast of Glasgow. Yeah. So what happened then is, my first project I got, and that was in Cathcart. Right. So that was a kind of two-bed two tenement, uh -huh. um, big project, take me right back to the brick. Wow. Um, Is that what you wanted? I, 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 you I don't really want to get, or did it? No, I, I just happened to this I, no, I thought that I went looking for something I had to take back to the brick. Uh -huh. and what, if, it, it was what was there, do you know what I mean? And I knew the area, I knew yeah. the area was really, really good. I did all my due diligence, we had taught with Paul and, and the tribe, whatever. Um, I knew this area was coming up, do you know what I mean? Right. I could see it, do you know what I mean? That. And it was starting to change. It's like, you know, 20 bill, 30 bill, people with money, right. people with um, money with no kids, ah, people with yes. money with one kid, do you yep. know what I mean? Yeah. So the area in Cathcart is absolutely beautiful. I mean, the river cart runs right through it. I mean, it's a deli, the nice green trees there. You're six minutes away from Lynn Park. So that was the first one I had my eye on, so that was good. Oh, yeah. um, so we got that. So I did that with a drive partner, but I'll not mention any names. Fantastic. Me. So that, that, that was really good. Some collaborations going so on. Yeah. Collaborations. Love it. That was my first drive Was it? I, so that was good. So yeah. I've done things before, in property before. Uh -huh. I've done it myself. Just you. Mean? It was myself and my partner time, yeah. but obviously he's passed away. So. Yeah. He was a great help for me for right. off my journey years and years ago. And some ideas on and stuff. Great. He used to get into the yeah. full rip out and all the rest of it. He never had the vision that I had. He'd be like, how can you see that? He'd be like, oh my God, Clyde, go to no take it, go to no take it. And I'm like, no, I can see it, I can I see it. This is good I, I can. But he was really good at the kind of manual stuff, do you know what right. I mean? So he was good at the hard labour, do you know what I mean? All the lifting and things like that. Mm. So he was a great support. But I had the vision, so I could see, yeah. I can walk at a property and for the next few minutes, I could see, this is going to turn out, this is going to turn out, this is going to turn out. Brilliant. And I'll actually even talk a builder around, I mean, ah, I did that in a recent project in Cathcart. Brilliant. The way the kitchen was going to go and the way the living room was, um, the bathroom was going to go, I went, no, it's the other way around. Ah. So, and it worked out far better. So the next project, what did I do the next project? Take so, I'll take you back to that one. How did it feel? Working with someone that JV you spoke about uh -huh. because you've had this experience of it's just you or you and your partner for a long time uh -huh. again, and now it's oh, a wee collaboration. Uh -huh. Nervous, excited. Oh. How does that feel for people? Just I'm thinking people are watching, listening, and think, oh, I don't know if I could work with someone else. Uh -huh. Put it this way: see if you've never done it, Richard. 
you just don't know what's going to happen. Do you know what I mean? Um, that was my first one, first IV. So no. you learn loads from it. Do you know what I mean? Um, you've got to take, you've got to make a lot more phone calls. You've got to phone the other person. Keep them in the loop. Keep them in the loop. Yeah. So it's a lot more work, I think. See when right. you're just going to knit on your own. You yes. just go do 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 do, and then that's it. Because you you can have a thought. Uh huh. Don't need to share it. Uh huh. Exactly. When it's in your head, it's easier to, I mean, yeah. and just go that to the trades, get that done, get this done, get this done, can we do this, do, 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 do. But when I mean, you've got to do the collaboration, yeah. you've got to have them there as well, which is it's all good, do you yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. but it does, I think, in my opinion, it mm. takes a wee bit longer, I think. More work. Uh -huh, a bit more work. Okay. Definitely, you've got to keep the communications definitely open. Yeah. Um, and what about the project itself? How did you find that one? Because you go right by to the brick. Uh huh. You know, did they go well? Was it on time? How did the numbers work I, out for you? Would well, you remember that? It, it went well. Mm -hmm. Take right back to the brick. But what slowed us down a good bit was the building warrant with the council. The oh, usual. Oh, that's a classic story. Aye, aye. Ah, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> you just don't perceive that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Council workers get back to work. <laughs> and again, if, if someone's got to, the, the, you know, their complete novice uh, property, just explain that to uh -huh. them. Award, you'll get a, a seal of approval, if you like, uh -huh. and the work you've carried out, yeah. So, I so that can take a long time. You get all your drawings and all that done up, and you've got to put them into the council. Then you've got to wait to council get back to you before you can even go ahead with the work. So... You're sitting with property, you're desperate to get going, yeah. and the you can't eye, ticking. the clock's ticking, your money's going out the door, yeah. you're yeah. conscious of that as well. That's true. Um, but once it comes in, it's a pure relief, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But that's the hardest part, it's hanging about Richard, waiting yeah. for that to come through. And things you, you mean? can't control. I know, you can't control yeah. it, do you know what I mean? Um, and no matter what all the planning in the world, as you said, you can't control it. Yep. It's up to the building warrant guys or yep. girls to get that out to you, do you know what I mean? So that was the biggest challenge? That was, that was, was the it? biggest challenge yeah. of that one, and everything yeah. else was absolutely brilliant, do you know what I mean? Uh, good trades in, the flat turned out absolutely amazing. Uh -huh. uh, and did we keep that one? Did we flip it over? No, that got flipped. That, flipped uh -huh. that got right. flipped. Uh -huh. okay. Did you always plan that? Did you pick a that, fancy? That was, that was the plan, because yeah. I don't do buy to let. It's a real game sure. out now. They're too boring. boring. Aye, they're too boring. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not boring. I'm not boring. No, you're not no. boring. <laughs> so, no, my, my main bag now, Richard, is buy, refurb, yeah. and sell on. Brilliant. But, obviously, I've listened to Prodigy about SAS now, service and combination. Oh, yes. So, I would like to kind of learn a bit more about that. Ah, you've got that so in your I've sight. I've got that in my sight. It's it's well, I love it properly. Uh -huh. you, you can do so many different things. Uh -huh. You know, you can work with investors, you can source, you can deal trade, you can buy your lets, HMO, the service accommodation, uh -huh. and you, but there's loads of stuff to there's do. There's loads. And there's, that's what you, it's what you say, Richard, it's right. You just don't have to stick to one thing. As, yeah. as we know, in property, you can do buy, refurb, and sell. Yep. You can do buy your let if you just want that cash flow. Do yep. you know what I mean? Yep. You can do sourcing, yep. um, go out and find people's properties, do you know what I mean? That's not really my bag either, but hey ho, I don't mind sourcing for myself, yeah. but um, that's fine. And I did source those ones for myself, so that, that you, was you good. you enjoy that design element, don't you? I like that as but well. You uh -huh. have shared so many photographs uh -huh, uh -huh. For, for the community to uh -huh. manage well. I'm doing this and I've changed the door and I'm doing so. Is that just always a thing in your, your brain? It's, it's in my head, yeah. it's in my head. And... I think now I've got a fetish for doors now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I was a good or a bad thing. I'm actually looking at people's doors now. Oh, my Lord. Because you know, it's up in Glasgow. If anyone's not from Glasgow, there's tenements in Glasgow. We've got loads of different property types in Glasgow. Yes. But tenements, I love working in a tenement. Right. Because they've got the character, they've got the big high ceilings. They've got the long walls, do you know what yeah. I mean? They've got the cornicing, they've got the fancy um, coven. All these features. Have all these yeah. beautiful features. And you also love uh, doing a lot of work in the close I as do. well. I the corridor through. I have, I have. The whole entrance for, for someone coming back to their home, you know, they get a nice feeling. Like, it oh, makes, this, is, this is lovely. It makes a big difference, yeah. do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's funny because uh, my boyfriend that passed away, mm -hmm. his wee nieces were like, Clay, let's a close. Girl, let's be in England. And I was uh, oh, like, I'd explain that. And I'm like, <laughs> See, when you come in, Megan and Karis, this is what you do. And I mean, but why is that close? I'm like, that's just the name of it. I don't actually know. <laughs> the library, okay. They used to say, all oh, your wee flats. 
in Glasgow. I love them. It's not funny. <laughs> they ever used, really used to that thing, right? That's right. It's a completely they're different style. Right. They've not got yeah. tenements. But no, I do love tenements. Do you know what I mean? Really, really like them. And I love... And do you like keeping those features? You I, do, I do. I do. Uh -huh. I love keeping keep as much as possible. I like to keep as much as possible. And I like doing a kind of mixing old with new. Ah, so when it comes to the furniture and the kind of staging part of things. Yeah. So I like it to be a wee bit different. Right. Do you know I mean? I don't do grey. Paul, I don't <laughs> do grey. <laughs> <sound. laughs> he's not about. He's not about it now. So I do do different colours, but the colour I like just do for paint is just walnut. Totally love it. Oh, nice. Aye, so it's nice and it goes with everything. Oh, it's even the sun shining at a nice day like this in Glasgow. Yeah. It's good to get the natural light into the house. So right. I really like that. It's kind of warmish, Aye, is it? Warmish. I have right. it's kind of like, I don't know. Yeah. It's just a beautiful, beautiful colour. And it's a natural colour. Natural colour. Uh -huh. yeah. And okay. it goes with everything. But well, that's uh -huh. the thing, isn't it's it? It's perfect. If you would get the place for someone to come in and buy it, uh -huh. they don't then have to radical change it. Oh, God, there's a purple wall there. No. You change. No, you've it's, done it tastefully. It's tastefully and yeah. it's nice and it's kind of classic. I like yeah. the classic look. Right. So, no, that, I mean, things like that, and I always go, no matter what, I always go for a good quality carpet. So, I right. do spend a bit extra because obviously it's by. To sell, it's not yes. by to let, which is a different ball game or That's whatever. Right. You're kind of adjusting because a lot of people do that. They'll adjust uh, the kind of materials they're using, mm -hmm. so it's maybe more longer last and maybe a bit more durable, but uh -huh. not as nice. You, uh -huh. Whatever you want to kind of describe it as, whereas you're flipping on, uh -huh. you want someone to have the the wow factor. I do, when you, I do, and yeah. obviously I want more money as well. Is that I mean, that's profit. The long to go on the next project. And if anyone's going to walk into a property, they want quality. Do you know what I mean so? Yeah. The last two projects we've done, they've been really, really good. Mm -hmm. Quality stuff been put in it. Do you right. know I mean they've been taken both both properties been taken right back to the brick? Oh, brilliant! So, um, all new central heating, all new top of the range radiators, wow. top of the range carpets, nice painting, beautiful kitchens. Oh, so we've got a good team. Aye, we've got they a good team. Uh huh. And they all they all with me. Yep, yeah, behind yeah. definitely. And a lot of the trades I'm using I've used for years, ah, so they're really, really good. Um, I mean, I did have a few wee hiccups, do you know what I mean? But you've got to get rid of them wee hiccups. There's always something, isn't there? There's always something. So nothing ever runs smoothly, but yeah. you've just got to get on with it and that's it. It's just part of the game, isn't it? It is you a game. Get, oh, look, we've got a wee problem here to fix. Uh -huh. Some kind of puzzle they solve or something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And staging, do you always stage? Do you not stage? How do you well, your thoughts and opinions? Te technically, um, for the two we've done now recently, we did. We kind of staged. Right. The one in uh, Mount Florida, we never put a suite or anything in there, do you know what right. I mean? The one in Cathcart, that was my business partner, did all that, so she's absolutely fantastic. Oh, magic. She's really good. But the uh -huh. one in um, Mount Florida, I did the stage of that. I would call it a quarter stage, do you know what right. I mean? What do you mean by that? Well, pictures on the wall, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? A few kind of bits and pieces about, but no suite. Right. But that um, project, I put in a bed as well, and all dressed the bed as well, so that was more or less... Kind of fifty percent staging. Really? Okay. Um, okay. But the one in um, calf cart that was the full stage. I think so. That was the full regalia. Yeah, as my mum would used to say, the full regalia. <laughs> um, so that was stunning. I mean, but that property in calf cart had to be staged because it's a big okay. two bed property. The big ceilings. Uh, it, so it I needed it felt. Hat. Because it didn't, it wouldn't look the part. Yeah, the way we the nice that. big things in it. It probably wouldn't look as big. Uh -huh. It's like, ah, it's okay. Uh -huh. Whereas if you actually fill it, oh my god, look at the size of this place. Uh -huh. The couch is here, and that's there, and this is here, and yeah. I so it was it was stunning. So no, moving forward, and I've picked a few things up. Do you know what I mean? I had to buy stuff for staging. Right. Um, I had to rent beds as well for the property in Cathcart. That was Gillian McCluskey. Oh, yeah. But I, yes. um, Perky, she's known as, so I'm very, very friendly with her now, so she's really, really good. So it's just a case of, we don't want to buy more beds. I've not got anywhere to store them. Here's yeah. my business partners, do you yeah. know what I mean? You end up, just got to give them away. Yeah. So I reached out to Jillian. I went, Jillian, can we hire two beds? She's like, Clint, no bother. Fantastic. Jolly. them off. We just got the um, linen for it, and that yeah. that was it. Do you know what I mean? But all so other stuff. Another collaboration. Another collaboration. Aye. Another another aye. So you can, it makes business so much easier. Oh, aye. Business. That's the, see what you know, do you know what I mean? I think the hardest part is, but I've worked very hard, Richard, as yes. you know, oh, yes. at the very start to get my name out there. Yeah. And I think now, what since I've done Paul's course, 
I've only took one day off. Is that right? And that was oh, Christmas wow. Day this oh, year. You'd be proud of uh-huh. <laughs> but I know, I know. <laughs> all like, like so, you. I know, I know. <laughs> so, I, I put the, <clears throat> the hard graft in, the sweat, yeah. even the labouring sometimes. I know you should, <laughs> do, you should do that. But I had to do it, do you know I mean? To push projects on, do you know what I mean? Um, even got the things like go to the dump, but that's all time consuming, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You need to factor all that in. Yes. And years ago when you were doing it, it was easier. The council used to come and uplift it. <laughs> no, they don't. It's it's I know it is. <laughs> so you've got to factor that at your cost now as well. And yeah. see, getting all the rubbish uplifted. Yeah. That's a fortune. Yep. So sure. anyone who's buying into the refurb, Putting a grand for that, do you yeah. know what I mean? Cause no, it's so true. It up, like, things that people don't think about. Aye, you know, definitely. Like, I had a skip uh-huh. sometimes. It's like, oh my God. I know, and then it's got to be the right area to get a skip in as well. Yep. So, with tenements, you're, you're unlucky. You can't really get the skips in, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, no, we had to get cupcakes in to uplift the stuff. And it was coming to the end of the project. Then a lot of the stuff was going in my car. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so oh, you I know. So it had to, had to be done. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? To get the projects finished, and yeah. that that was it. And even over like Christmas, New Year, I was still walking up and down to the projects with Dexter because I fitted it in with Dexter oh, bro, to yeah. put the central heating on, still to keep the, the flat thing. warm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. In case the pipes would no burst. Pipes. So um, we didn't want that hassle. The only day I never did it was Christmas Day, so I was right. up and down. Every day for three weeks, do you know what I mean? But I just made it part of the routine. It was Dexter's routine. First thing in the morning, Dexter went in there. And late at night, me and Dexter to go to that walk, do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> Dexter's in box, which is my own. What happens to these guys go to your cell? I know. We used to walk down here. Go <laughs> see the paths, Dexter. See the paths, Richard. Dexter used to sniff the properties out for me. Oh, bro. Seriously. Dexter, I'm going to so far. Yes, I was. He was. But he's 14 now, so he's oh, a wee bit yeah. slower, do you know what I mean? I uh, love it. It's so, amazing. And as well as, you know, a touch on the reforms, mm-hmm. the quality, the materials, the design, the times, the challenges, etc., and stuff. Uh, profit wise, number wise, things going to plan there as well. Thanks. Quite happy. I happy yeah. with it. Do you know what I mean? I've got no complaints at all whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Um, Brilliant. The way we did the figures, it came through. Do you know what I mean? So that was that. All went to so plan. I had all went to plan. Do you know what I mean? Uh, that's what I'm saying for yourself. Definitely. I never really budgeted for the um, the rubbish removal. Do you know what I mean? And I think. Because back in the day, that never happened. Yeah. The council took it away. You put it out the front or you put it at the back and it's it was done. gone, but yeah. no. So definitely, anyone at all doing a refurb, yeah. putting a grant at least for that. And you always learn these things uh-huh. and then you take them into the next project, don't exactly. you? Exactly, yeah. and it's, it'll just get easier and easier and easier, yeah. do you know what I mean? Um, but no, I've absolutely loved it. The Cathcart project was really good. Right Florida project's um, done and dusted now as well. So you, so that's, you've got a couple in the finish line just now. We were talking earlier. Uh-huh. Have you, is it one finishing tomorrow? Is it one finishing tomorrow? tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. so here's hoping all goes fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, so that's good. So we'll be glad when the money lands back in again. Yes. So it means the two of us have worked very, very hard on that project. Do you yeah. mean to get that done? So she's really, really good. Uh, it's a nice wee feeling when it finishes. Uh-huh. It? It's a good it's feeling. There's a, a satisfaction. Uh-huh. You know? It's a satisfaction as well, Richard, um, without telling the lies. See the person that buys that property? Yes. They've won a watch. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you know I, what you've done. We know, do you know I mean? They're going to walk into that property, everything's brand new, it's yeah. been taken right back to the brick, it's a full rewire, they've got all the mod cons, a brand new kitchen, brand new bathroom, it's clean beyond clean, yeah. do you know what I mean? So they're walking in, you can smell the freshness, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how good that property is. A um, I, so it's a great um, property for the person that's bought it, so good luck, do you know what I mean, to them, but Great. Definitely, it's see we've got the high standards. I think you need the high standards. Do you know what I mean, yeah. but the same again. It all depends if it's by a let, if it's by a refurb. Do you Connect. Mean? It's got to match the the strategy, the strategy the of what you're doing for it. Yeah. But no, I love that project. Um, so that's getting wrapped up. So all good. I love it. Another one's getting wrapped up the next few weeks. So so that's a couple of weeks after, uh-huh. right? Is yeah. Oh, brilliant! So that's it's all good. It's like, that is great. But in the meantime, I'm doing that. I've not just stopped there, do you know what I mean? In the meantime, I'm doing a project management for a um, property in Pollock Shields. Oh. That's good, do you know what I mean? So I'm just doing that on my own. So it's like a client that contacted me. Uh-huh. I've seen my work online. Brilliant. Uh, met with them. Uh-huh. 
decided to take it on. So that's actually finishing this week as well. That's tremendous. I exactly. So that's their project. Uh-huh. They're money they've put in, their asset. Uh-huh. You're the manager. I'm the manager. Ah, uh-huh. oh, that's tremendous. Uh-huh. That's so tremendous. That's good. And is this through, you, what's, what's the company you've got? The Glasgow, Glasgow? Glasgow House Buyers Equal. Uh-huh. So I've got two, comp- I've got two right. different companies. So that's for the Jive VSPVs, right. Special Purchase Vehicle. Mm-hmm. So I've got that. This one I'm just going to do on my own, so this is brilliant. really good. It's great. So it's good. So the client's absolutely brilliant. Met with the client a couple of times. They said to take it on board. He liked the kind of eco side of things. Do right. you know what I mean? Right. And the good thing about this was he had this nice face in sin. He had this nice skirting in already. Oh, the big shoe line. Uh-huh. So I just went in, supplied the joiners, supplied the electricians, supplied the painter and decorators, um, Plumber was in as well. The cleaners were in. Um, who have I missed? You now? enjoy all that. I enjoy all that. I love bringing Shitty. everyone together. And you know. um, I actually brought my friend into this project as well. Right. So I'm going to try and start teaching her things. But um, uh, brilliant. I'm going to start teaching her things. It's like you've it's like you've whole beginning. I'm uh-huh. about to the start. Uh-huh. You know, running with businesses, running with team, running with people, trying to get them back to work and stuff. Uh-huh. You you've got that about you. I know definitely, and I like bringing people on board, but I like lifting people up as well. Do you yes. know what I mean? So yes. I like I like doing that. So I brought my friend Donna and you know, I love more than life, do you know what I mean? So I've been friends with Donna since 12 and she's like, Clay, what's it you're doing? Do, 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 do. Brilliant. She never really asked a question before. I said, Donna, do you think I just Wait, throw it about? I, I, I just rolled the eggs up. That's all I do. <laughs> so it ends up, I had a meme um, I posted on the page the other day there. Someone had reached out to me from London. So mm. I, the other day there, so this was funny. So you don't know... It's okay, go and meet them. So it's just all through social media. So I phoned Donna. I said, Donna, do you want to come along with me? She was like, okay. So we went to the meeting anyway in Mount Florida. So he came to my stomping ground. Right. Um, I took Dexter as well. So totally informal, Richard, right? Oh. Some crack, right? Absolutely funny. So the two, we all got on absolutely brilliant. But Donna went, Claire, I was amazed. She's, I said, Donna, I'll do all the talking, do you right. mean? I'll introduce you, what you're doing for me just now, she's only just came on board, do you sure. know what I mean? Sure, So she'll be helping me out when I'm busy, do you know what I mean? Brilliant. So it was great for her and the um, Paul Shields project. I can get away and do a few other things, and yes. I'll let her deal with the trade, so yeah. that's good. So that helped me out a wee bit. Yeah. But she was loving it because she's pure chatty as well, do you know what I mean? So yeah. she was enjoying it and having the, a laugh with the trades. Yeah. So it ends up, she went, Claire, I didn't know what you were talking, she says, but my God, I think you know your stuff. You know your stuff. Aye. So like the guy was well impressed anyway, but this is a laugh, this is a good one, we tell you this. So it ends up, he wanted me to go and see his project. Right. So it was in Kings Park. Right. So that's fine, my stomping ground as well. Yeah. So I was like to the, the guy, I says, um, oh, I... I said, whereabouts is it? And he went, on the right-hand side. I went, oh, I've already viewed this property. Uh, and he went, Clay, you're kidding me on. I went, no. So I could, uh, I could rhyme off exactly uh, uh, what the property was, what was inside the property, what they did, didn't they? And he went, oh, my God, Clay, this is amazing, right? Uh, so he bought a client in London, bought this property in Glasgow, and he went, why did you not buy it? And I said, because yeah. it was a buy to let. I right. says the numbers didn't That's work for me for a refurb, and he went, "All oh, right, I get it." To right. me, he went, "Oh, I thought you had bought you, um, beat you to the post." I'm like, "No, I see, no." So you so wanted it for a different strategy. It for a different strategy, yeah, but that's it. I know, and that's it's great. good when you come on um, with Prodigy, you learn this. Yeah. If I didn't know that, I'd be like, "All oh, right, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll buy yeah. it." But I know buy let's not for me. Yeah. You know what I mean, um, I don't really want to kind of hold on to um, buildings. The bike hole's not for me at all. Uh-huh. I like then transforming something, yeah. buying it, you. doing it up, and then move on and yeah. say ta-ta. And you're enjoying it, uh-huh. doing your love. Uh-huh. You're getting paid for it, you're exactly. getting profits, and it's almost not even like work. Uh-huh. It's just something you love doing. Uh-huh. And you're walking the dog. Exactly. You're, you know, deciding how it's going to look and uh-huh. stuff. I mean, that's that's a brilliant one. I know. I really like it. Do you know what? Well, like about property, it gives you freedom. Do you know what I mean? I don't think... Richard, in all honesty, I could work for someone else again, do you know what I mean? I don't mind if I'm in the same level as them, do you know what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah. fine. I can collaborate with people, no bother, do you know what yeah. I mean? I'm not a, what's it they say? A lone, what is that? Like a lone wolf? A lone can wolf, I, That's I don't, not you. No, it's not yeah. me. I can work on one if I need to, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I yeah. do enjoy it, do you know what I mean? 
Um, and as I used to say years ago, I didn't know myself would hang about with myself, do you know what I mean? And people used to laugh at that because I'm fun and I get the crack, do you know what I mean? And I like, the, I, and I like people to be funny as well. Because yeah. see if they're boring, Richard, yeah. I lose interest. I'm just like, oh my God, is this it? But the team of guys, it's all guys actually, um, the tradesmen, they get it as well. They're funny, do you know what I mean? They're good workers. They arrive on time. I mean, the paint and decorator, he's like, Clay, what do you want to start? He's a half seven, eight o'clock start if the property is empty, do you know what I mean? Oh, That's how good they are. My spark, he's absolutely brilliant. They're all good guys. I've got um, joiners. Yeah. They just go in, they do the job, and that's it. That's and that's all you want, do you know what I mean? Do you see yourself, the, the, the project management part of the puzzle? You know, when you've got your own projects, you've got a name, but do you, do you kind of enjoy that project management that you would do more? You know, if someone's listening, watching uh -huh. this now, and they're kind of, oh, listen, I, I want to buy it, especially if they're down south or something. Uh -huh. I want to buy a place up in Glasgow because the numbers are amazing, but I can't get there. I've not got the team, I've not got the contacts. Is that something you're up for? You enjoy doing? Definitely. Yeah. And I like doing oh, it. Pictures, definitely. And do you know the reason, I'll be totally honest, why I would do project managing as well? Because see when you tie your money up in a refurb, mm -hmm. it takes all your money up, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And why I decided to do a bit of project managing, I know I'm good at it. I'm good at bringing people together, do you know what I yeah. mean? Um, and I'm good at connecting people. And obviously I've got all the trades now in place. That's the hardest yeah. bit, do you yeah, know what I mean? The real it's people hard to get trust. Trust. They do the good job, they turn up on time. Yes, you, yeah. you just don't want time wasters, do you know what I mean? It's time is money. So for cash flow, do you know what I mean? You need something else coming in because obviously I'm not working. Yeah. Property is my main um, lifeline, do you know what I mean? Yeah. This is where I'm trying to get my money from. Mm -hmm. But with property, you've got to put a lot of money out, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? And you've got to wait then for the money to come back. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm good at, project management, so I'll put that out. Great. But also what I do as well is I've done a good few assistance um, viewings for people. Hey, right. I see so that as well. I can do that myself as well. Fantastic. So this is the weekend kind of things I would like to do for cash flow, because mm -hmm. I will be looking for my next project now quite soon. Yeah. I'm going to go up a wee bit. Oh, all right. All right. Oh. So I'm going to look at So I'm going to look for hopefully a three or four bed project. Right. Hopefully in the south side. Right. I can't be bothered travelling too far. <laughs> next is 14 now. I know exactly so we need to watch. I know we need to watch, we need to watch. <laughs> So my next project I'm going to go bigger So right. we've done the one bed We've done the two beds So yeah. we'll be looking for either a three bed or a four bed I love it But as I said to you as well An AC It's right. got, got, it's got, got a, juices yeah, going well. yep. And yep. my friend who's in the tribe Katrina mm -hmm. We're up at Wick God when was that Eight, nine weeks ago Yeah She's the queen of the SC. Oh, she's, she's brilliant. She's yeah. absolutely brilliant. So we're lucky enough that she invited us up. God, I've done terrible for weeks or whatever. So <laughs> it was a cold weather anyway. Yeah. So that was probably about eight weeks ago. So she did a kind of wee educational weekend with brilliant. a lot of the girls in the tribe. So that was amazing. That was a blast. It's well, a family community. Uh -huh. there's, there's so many different folk. I know you help tons of them uh -huh. in the group, but then you learn from someone like Katrina. Exactly. Maybe Katrina will learn from maybe people at the Laurentis. Uh -huh. like oh, so they're all kind of helping each other. Have you seen this? Have you seen that? I, I love that. I, I mean, know. That's how it's going to be. You couldn't buy it. Well, technically, no, no. you couldn't buy it. Do you know what I mean? Because you've got to come into the. All right. Our tribe, that's right. I mean, that's right. But. I would say to anyone, when people ask me all the time, mm. oh, Claire, blah, 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 but this about um, Prodigy, and I'm like, I can't diss it at all. No. I've loved it from day one. Yeah. And Sean McIntyre phoned me one time to ask, would I come back on board again? Right. And this was hilarious. Sean's hilarious as well. <laughs> so actually, I was, I've was i been a wee bit funny that day, and I've on the phone, and he's like, hey, Claire, so what's happening? And I kept him chatting and chatting and chatting. When you were asking the date, and I'm like, what? <laughs> So the two is going to laugh but at each, I mean, and he's like, Clay, are you going to come back on board? Right. <laughs> he's like, get to the, get to the, all this crap, and then when you come back on board, and I went, Sean, obviously I'm going to come back on board, because I didn't end up with with depression or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not alone, we I've told exactly. you. <laughs> so I mean, I, to I totally love it, I mean, yeah. and as you said, Richard, in the day, I mean, you're amazing, you, you get everyone going, everyone loves Ricardo, Yeah. And you, you're a good, you're a good, genuine person. 
Paul, everyone's a great team in here, do you know what I mean? And I'm not just saying that because I'm one camera. Everybody isn't. Everyone helps everyone, mm. do you know what I mean? When I was on the phone to Mark Lorente last night, great crack with Mark, he was wishing me luck, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because um, I didn't really tell anyone. I told Mark because I was like, is this a top secret thing I want? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> who knows what Richard's going to ask me? <laughs> everyone's great. I mean, I've met brilliant, who I'd actually say are really, really good friends now, do you yes. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and as you said about Katrina, she is the queen of the SA. She knows yeah. her stuff. And the things we learned in that weekend, do you know what I mean, was absolutely brilliant. It wasn't all about learning. It was about learning, laughing. Yes. When we were laughing that whole weekend and connecting, do you know what I mean? And also getting to know people better. Yes. yes. Do you know what I mean? Social media can only take you so far, Richard. Do you know what I mean? I'm old school. Okay. I'm old school, so... Aye. Um, but then the day people be like, you kid me on, you're never off at social media. <laughs> but you know, Richard, you know, Richard, I wasn't very good at it. I mean, I was I never had a clue. Yeah. I didn't even have Facebook. That's right. Take care of one prodigy. Do you mean I was forced into it? That's <laughs> forced into it. Look at but you. I don't look at me now, Fine. but um, no, it was really, really good. But I have got, I have got plans, do you know what I mean? Yes, you Definitely. Do. I'm going to save it with property. It uh -huh. yeah. I'm going to scale up. I'm going to up the ante for it. sure, do you know what I mean? love it. And the way I look at it is go big or, or, go, what? Home. or go home, do you know what I mean? I love it. What Why? a story. I know. What I know. a story. <laughs> There's stuff there I knew. There's hundreds of it I had no clue about. A lot, I, and I, I knew I would learn something if I had you on. Uh -huh. Absolutely brilliant. For folks who are watching, you're listening, whenever it's safe to do so, go into the show notes page because that's where we've got all of Colette's details because maybe you want to connect with her because you know you are someone who's an investor down south, an investor up north, and you've not got the time or you don't have the team or the skills to manage your EFRP, you know, Colette can do that for you. If you're lucky enough, of course, she's a very busy lady, as you can hear. Or maybe you're looking to, you know, view a property. She does the assisted viewings as well, she can do for you. An amazing uh, level of experience as well. Or maybe you'll be one of our collaborators or JV partners, who knows? So much opportunity out there. She's certainly a, a cracking woman to even just follow, just follow the journey and learn from her. Uh, and if you end up working with her, then you've won a watch, as we see here in Glasgow as well. So, Colette, for being who you are, for being on this week in property, thanks a million. Oh, thank you, Richard. He's up here. I love you. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as I did. Remember, with the guests that you just saw, go into the show notes for the page because all of their links are there so that you can get in touch and to get more information. And talking about getting more information, more guests, more insights, more knowledge, etc., make sure you're subscribed get the subscription done, get the notifications on, and then we'll always keep in touch with you every single time a brand new show is going to come out. So thanks for tuning to This Week in Property.